Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about tempo mapping and auto stretching. Now this technique I've been using for years now in my demo production. You know, I play guitar, I sing or whatever you're doing, but you want some rhythmic elements behind your productions or you want to add rhythmic elements to your existing productions. Here's a fast and easy way to do that. For example, I've got some drums recorded here, overhead, uh, some kick snare, and let's take a listen to this. Okay, we get some basic drums here. Now, this technique is so easy to use and the results are amazing. What I'm going to do here is open up my file browser in my top right corner, and I'm gonna to navigate to a folder that I have drum loop samples stored on. Now, I keep these handy for my audio productions, but you can use any drum loops at all. And an important feature here is now this button here in the tempo area. This is the auto stretch button. Now, without this engaged, any audio you bring in will conform itself to the original tempo that it has uh, from the source file. But when I activate this, it'll conform itself to what Melodyne's tempo is here that it's reading from our files we have detected. In this case, 105.53 BPM. And this sign means that it's fluctuating. It's not a constant tempo. So it's a free field performance. So we're gonna tempo map these drum loops to a free field drum performance, okay? Now, the way we're going to do that now is with auto stretch enabled, we're going to come down, choose one, bring it up here to beat one bar one. And as I let go, it's not only going to detect the file, it's going to tempo map it to the free field, free field performance of the existing drum tracks. Look how fast it does this. Ready? Just like that. Now take a listen. We're going to hear the organic drum tracks with the tempo loop overlaid that we can now mix in with the volume slider. Here's the loop soloed, and here it is mixed in with the drums, and here's without the loop mixed in, and here it is back in. See how easy that was? But remember, when auto stretch is enabled, it'll stay enabled until you deactivate it. So I say when you're done using it, then definitely deactivate it because that way you can avoid some kind of maybe pitfall later on in the future. But with it activated, let's take another one. Take punchy rim, bring it in here, let it go. To beat one bar one, and there. Now let me mute the one call flow and let's check out what this combination makes for us. Oh, I like that. Here it is soloed. And here it is in with the mix. I'll take it out. And here it is in. Oh, that worked really well. All right, let's do it one more time with, uh, I set this up here for the loop called wind tunnel. Uh, let's see if we can find that here. Bring it in, beat one bar one, and let it go. All right, let's check this one out now. Here it is with the loop mashed up in there. That worked really well. Here, here's without that loop and the straight tracks. Here's with the loop blended in. I'm gonna lower my level here just to mix it in a little bit better. Here we go. And there you have it. How to use the auto stretch function here in Melodyne to do some mashups, to literally conform the tempo of loops or other audio that you're bringing in to match the tempo, feel, and performance to the existing audio that you're working with. <laughs>